So, by the spirit of the attack has been, you know, um, leading each and every one of you that you have remained despite the challenges and despite the difficulties. You have remained very focused. You have remained very dedicated and committed and devoted and loyal above all to the leader of this very great movement, Mazin Namdekano. I want to ask you to continue to bless each and every one of you that are holding forth in the United States of America. I want also to commit every dear friend, wherever you may be tonight, in the four corners of the world. I want to commit each and every one of you into the hand of most merciful Chukwabia, our creator and our father. And yes, I'm aware now that we are actually live and uh, those who may be hearing my voice this night, um, the structure that the Indian demand and kind can of put in place specifically to safeguard our lands, to safeguard our farms, to safeguard our forests, and to ensure that our women, our mothers, our fathers, and the youths of the Afro engage in their activities in our farmlands is secured. This very structure that he put in place, the Eastern Security Network, their responsibility is well and um, well and clearly stated for them. Those who go about using the name of the ESN to commit crimes, abominations, to desecrate our land, to, 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 in fact, defy the holy land of the Africa. I want to ask you to stop tonight. You may not have another opportunity. You will not have another opportunity if you do not stop from committing crimes and using the name of the ESN to commit crimes in our land. And in the hope that those who sent you will attribute these crimes onto the leader of this great movement. Why I'm asking you to stop tonight is that after tonight, after tonight, you will only be responsible for what will happen to you. The time for repentance is now. And repentance that I mean is that those you that have been um, made to be agent provocateur as in our land and in our midst, going about committing all manners and sorts of crimes and saying that UB has done that, using the uh, help of the enemy to demonize this very, very heaven ordained government and struggle. Tonight, you must talk. The world shall be a witness. Whatever will happen after tonight, and you, anyone who continues to engage in criminal activities in the land of Biafra using ESN or IPOB, you alone shall be responsible for what happens to you, not IPOB and not ESN. Because, as I always say, um, when the spirits of our land get involved as they have got involved. This battle um, is or will be beyond what you have realized or what you know. I look at that. Now we are back to the reason why we are here today. These young men and women, these very dedicated hardcore of the Star Security Network. They 
that have devoted their lives and time. They that have denied themselves every outcome and form of comfort to sleep in the forest, whether it rains or the sun shines. They, they, they have made their home with the inhabitants of forests, also of animals. These young men, these heroes and heroines, they need our support. Our support not only financially, but they need that we all in our quiet moments and every time we call upon the greater of heaven and earth, we call upon Chukwabiyam. We must put them in prayer, as we also must put our Yendu Mazen Namdekano, who currently is in the hand of the enemy in our daily prayers. Those of you that wake up in the morning and you bring the cola to ancestors, you must put these young men and women as you call upon the spirits of our land and call upon our ancestors, that they must continue to guide them, give them wisdom, make ways for them, protect them and give them strength. And of course, our leader must as well, above all things, be committed into the hands of our ancestors and the spirit that gather along. Each and every one of you that have made out this time tonight to be here and subsequent previously, you have made out the time because you know what this struggle is all about. You understand what freedom means. You may have tested it wherever you are just domiciled at the moment. But I can assure you that the freedom that people have tested in every other land where they call, where they say that if they are democratic and civilized. Don't forget the beginning of all civilization is he speaking a lot of geographical, you know, uh, term, you know whatever, using uh, geographical terminology that they may, people may not understand. But he's telling you simply that that is the beginning of the year of the earth as we know it. Zero longitude, zero latitude. That's the, that's where it starts. And you can see we have all run away from that very beginning of humanity and seeking refuge in other lands and people in other people's uh, lands and and and, um, and countries. Will you be part, truthfully, honestly? Religiously, will you be part of those who will restore the fallen walls, who will rebuild the fallen walls, who will rebuild and restore the fallen places? I ask you tonight, it is a conversation that you must make within yourself and by yourself alone. And the decisions are all going to be yours. Of course, I heard what the man said about those who will come at the time that Biafra independence will materialize. They will come with complete grammar. The world is listening and the world is hearing me tonight. We the world is listening to me tonight. And the end has said the Biafra that we are a is not the one that you will bring your assembly and show it in our faces and tell us you have um, you have MMS uh, they are whatever that you may have acquired. <laughs> um, but we will be waiting. Um, you must ask yourself, go and read the history of the Kosovarans when they were fighting for their own independence. I can tell you tonight, and you can quote me, 
It is not going to be a free entry for you. My Zedizim is saying it. It will not be a free entry for you if you never supported this job. This Biafra we are seeking work from. It is not in the hand of man. It is not in the hand of Britain. It is not in the hand of the United States. Neither is it in the hand of the European Union. They know that Biafra is coming. They are trying to delay the emergence of the Biafra nation because they know who you are. You probably do not know who you are. But I am comforted and I am strengthened in the fact that there are many of you who still understand why our leader is suffering. Many of you who understand that notwithstanding all the, you know, very um, uh, how will, I'm looking for the proper word to use for this, not taking into account that the enemy has been concentrating on how to ensure that he renounces this very movement and this very struggle. He has remained faithful. Oyendi Mazin and Khan has remained very, very committed. And he has told us he will never disappoint us. We shall ask ourselves tonight. Are you among those who want to disappoint him? I and my family, we have made our choice. We will not disappoint my America, neither will we disappoint the Biafra people. Biafra will come in our lifetime, not that it will come in our lifetime. All of you here who have made it your duty, your responsibility to put in your widow's mind, your ideas, your time. It is for you, for your children, and for our born children, and especially for those of our people who are suffering in our land. It is for them that we are all doing what we are doing, and I want to encourage you to continue on that path. Tonight, those who may not be able to come here and join us, the support of ESN is not to finance any criminal activity in our land. I am speaking that the world must hear. We know the Nigerian government, what they are doing. They <laughs> the, the, the entire at our disposal. We know their plan. And I want to tell you, those who are, um, those countries who are, you know, um, they have been trying to, who they have been trying to convince, Hajoru through their um, usual corrupt practices, giving them the resources that is not that I that are in the land in order for them to support them and 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 um, tag this very movement, something that is not. Um, we are happy that uh, some of these nations uh, have told them in their faces that these people are not what you make them out to be, that they are pursuing what is internationally and universally recognized. Self-determination is not a crime, neither is it a declaration of war. And I stand upon the, I stand upon the land of Biafra, and I state here tonight that for me, there is no authority. It is Biafra or Biafra or Biafra. And we must all put our hands together so that in the shortest, shortest possible time, the leader of this great movement, Oyendumazi Namdekano, shall rejoin us. And when he rejoins us, he shall continue to lead us and march us into 
a free, sovereign, and independent beer for nations. May Chukwa be be with all of you. I wouldn't tell you. Well, uh, of course, I already took more time than I than usual, but I am somehow touched to speak uh, this now because I realize that we are on air. I want to call upon those of you here tonight not to be disillusioned, not in any way to be distracted, but to remain focused. Your eyes, our eyes must continue to be on the ball because we are closer much much closer my great people uh, to our destination to our objective and um, more than anyone can imagine and may you them and take honor upon on until this very this very event tonight may you take all glory and may his blessings be upon you our family in the united states and upon all of you our families worldwide in Chukwabia Man's name, I said,